Okay, in this demo, I want to show you how you can make a navigational toolbar. So go into your HTML and right inside of your header, right after your H1, go ahead and uh, you're going to paste, well, I'm going to paste some information. You're going to type it. So basically what I did was I created a nav tag and inside of that I nested an unordered list and inside of that I created a bunch of list items and inside of those each one of them has a link and right now they're just dummy links so I'm using the pound symbol uh, so that they will take the behavior of links but I've just got some dummy words. Later we'll make those into some real links. Um, if we can get through this demo it might be in a different one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that, and let's just see what that looks like. Hit refresh, and then we've got this uh, list that stacks vertically. And obviously that's not what we want. I mean, we could live with it, but it's not what we want. We're going to go into our CSS style sheet, and let's look at what we need to do here. So I'm going to scroll up here and find the header section. And I'm going to go ahead and after the H1, since it comes in the header after the H1, I'm going to make a new rule. It's going to be the header nav UL because that was the, uh, if you remember, that was the order that they were nested. And don't forget, this is the first thing I like to do on a UL is I like to set the padding to zero so that it gets rid of that browser inherited um, padding on the left side. And let's go ahead and save that and I'll show you what what's going on here. And then you see it pulls it right up to the edge and what we want it to do is we want it to have the same left margin as this header h1 okay so if you remember you can look that right here in fact we can just copy that and we can paste that save it let's do a test okay and then it's lined up now we want to get rid of the bullets though so that is going to be in the next style let's go ahead and copy this I'll paste this and that's going to be in the list item okay and right here we'll go ahead and say list style none and save that make sure it goes away in fact it does okay so now at least we know that this list is starting right here along the edge all right let's jump back here and I'm going to go ahead and paste this so you don't have to watch me type. I'm going to do a display type of inline block. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it like a block, but it'll do it inline. So if I save and I do a test, now we get them side by side, but they're far too close together. So let's deal with that. And I'm just going to paste again. So I'm giving it a margin top of zero. Uh, on the right, we'll give it 1% margin. On the bottom, let's do 10 pixels so it stands off a little bit. And then on the left, we'll give it zero. Um, and that's going to, I think, give us a pretty good spacing. Um, and you could test it if you want and play around with it. Also, I know I want my text to be in the center. Um, so we're going to save that. And we're going to test it. Fresh. And oops, you know what? I made a mistake. I actually put that on the wrong thing. I intended for all of this here, let's cut that. I intended for that to go here. My bad. I meant for that to be on the list item, not on the unordered list. So I meant for each of the list items to have a 1% margin on the right, 10 pixels on the bottom, and text the line center. Let's try that again. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So now we've got these links, still not great, I'd like to get like a box around them. So let's look at how we can do that. Okay, so to do that, what I want to do is actually not put it on the list item. I want to start working with the actual links themselves. So we're going to go header, nav, lia. Okay, and the reason I want to do it with the link itself, oops, that's a mistake. The reason I want to do it with the, the link itself is because I want to be able to click anywhere uh, in the box area, not just on the actual word, and have it be a link. If I do it just on the list item, then parts of where it hovers is not going to be activated. So I need to do it on the list item A. So first of all, let's go ahead and give it a background so we can see what we're working with. 
and that's where I had intended to put it color. So let's save that and we can see what we've got. Hit refresh and you see that the, the background box is cinched right up against the type. So we want the words to have a little bit of padding. Let's jump back in here and in fact let's do padding and let's say that we want like maybe three pixels on the top and bottom. Let's try 12 pixels on the left and right and save that and we'll test it. Okay and now you see what's nice is that I've got this link where if I hover in the corner and I just hover over the box area I still get a little link hand icon. Uh, I don't have to go over the text, I can go over the box. If I had put the padding on the list item and the background color on the list item then this part wouldn't link. It would have to be on top of the text. So let's also get rid of that goofy text decoration. Um, and so that means that's on a hover. So I need to, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make a new uh, rule here for hover for the uh, header nav link uh, list item a hover. And let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that text decoration first off. We'll say none. Okay. And the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to make it so that when I hover, the box background color changes, uh, and I'll make it white. But that means that if I make it white, the text actually has to be changed in its color too. So I'll make it like a, a light gray or sort of middle gray. Let's save that. Hit refresh. And now you see if I hover it, what happens? And I've got my links, okay? And because I have that easing transition, it also works on my hovers, which is great. Now, if I pull this in, it's still doing this, and that's not what I want, okay? I would like for it, when it comes in, you know, to 480 or, or lower, I'd like for these to go to 100%. So let's look at how we can adjust that. Well, first of all, we can take some cues as to what the old uh, header a looks like. And if you'll notice here on this header A, well for one thing these are not set up to be block. And whenever we go back here we need them to take up the entire block. A by the nature of being an A tag is inherently an inline element. So one of the first things that we'll want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come down here in my media query where it says you know 480 and down below we're going to create a new rule here for A and we're going to go ahead and tell it to be a display type of block and we're also going to tell it to have a width of 100 percent so it takes up 100 percent of that block and let's just see what that does so far okay and it's doing this thing, all right, sort of strange looking thing it seems like, but it is, it's, it's making an attempt to work. But we also have to do some adjustment to the list item as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule for the list item, not for list item A, just list item. And for this one, we need to also tell it to be a width of 100% because remember, the um, anchor tags are inside of the list items. So let's go ahead and tell those to be 100%. And then uh, let's go ahead and s well save that and let's check it out and see what happens. And hit refresh. And then you see now that they are going to be, or they, go, they are going to 100%. Now we have this other weird thing going on over here is that we've got uh, that 4% margin that we had up above outside of the media query on that unordered list, well, we have it showing up here and we want to get rid of that. The other thing is that these are pretty big gaps in between, so we'll change the margins on the list items that are in that, in that media query. So the first thing I need to do though is I need to get rid of that UL margin. So I'm going to paste this again, but I'm going to change list item to unordered list. Okay, and I'm going to tell it to have a margin of zero. And let's go ahead and real quick and check it and hit refresh. 
and that did fix the thing on the side. And now I want to get rid of all these big gaps in between. And so what I think I want to do is go ahead and tell each list item to have a top margin of like one pixel. And then that'll show through this dark thing in between and it'll look like a border, but it won't actually double it up if I don't put it on both top and bottom. So, so where I've got the list item here, I'll say margin and I'll say one pixel for the top and then zero for everything else. Oops. So it'll be zero on left and right and also on bottom. And let's look at that, hit refresh. And then now see, it looks like I've got like a border of one pixel in between, but it's really just a margin, which is kind of nice. And the other thing I want to do is I want to not have this centered anymore. I think I want to have it left aligned. So what I would need to do then is put on the list item here. We put text align and then we'll put left. Okay and refresh that and then it bumps over pretty far and you might think that that's okay you might like that I think I'd like mine to uh, line up sort of more like in line with this article so if I remember right that was a 10% adjustment so let's give it about 10% and we're going to put that on the A not on the list item but on the A because the A is inside the list item and we want to bump it over so actually I think what I'm going to do is do a padding uh, do padding left um, and we'll say about 10 percent if I did a margin what would end up happening is when I hovered the whole thing would bump over in fact here I'll show you what I'm talking about so you can see if I hit save, refresh that, and you can see that that's what happens. And that's not what I really want to happen. Um, I mean, you you might want to you might be able to do something kind of interesting where you had a margin that pops up. I guess you could do margin left and margin right. So if we did something like this, where it would be zero on the top and bottom, but Let's say, I'm just showing you some different ways you could fuss. And actually, that didn't work. So let's just leave it so that we've got it. Uh, I'm going to leave it as padding because I like the way that that looks better. Hit refresh. And then I like that it sort of is lining up more with this article and it kind of is moving like diagonally down. Um, and if you wanted it to line up exactly with article, you would need to do some more adjustments so you could have it be let's try 11 percent see what that does and yeah it's not that much different anyway uh, so that is uh, how you can get to this place in your design okay so that's going to end this particular demo and the next demo is going to be the last one of the series where we are uh, going to create these as real links and uh, I'm going to show you some different page options just so you can uh, have like an example and then you will have to actually continue from that point and flesh it out with images and etc and content and stuff like that for your uh, assignment. Okay, but this is the end of this demo.